still, I could capture its likeness. running through the halls. Such obstreperous creatures. You seem a fine specimen. I don't think I have one of your kind in my garden. Oh, and it speaks. I just finished a tetrini, some of my finest work between you and me. Though you couldn't possibly appreciate the detail. Why? You need to entertain me. There are a variety of chests throughout the gardens. I placed your friend's soul in one of them. See if you find it before my posing retinue tears you to pieces. The caretaker. I preserve everything against the ravages of time. Scrolls and books are easy. But the aliens themselves. They resisted at first, but they saw things my way in time. Have a look around you. They used to be. Turning a body to stone is easy. The trick is keeping the mind intact. If they hadn't settled into place so many years ago, I'd introduce you to my former masters. Pity. Hardly. My master's farm, there were certain difficulties in allowing me to roam this place unfettered. So they split me from my body. In this form, I can go where I please, but I can't touch anything directly. It's quite upsetting. The caretaker! A slime. You'll rule the. What? You're not. And I'm. What happened? Ukazi. Why does that name sound familiar? Perhaps. No. I've lost it. Wait. Where is La Rinalda? I. Good. That's good. Then it hasn't been too long. I really should head back, get my bearings. Don't worry about me. I know the way back. Wasn't he back at the camp? I suppose La Rinalda would know where he's off to. Always getting lost, that one.
shouldn't have... Oh, another one. Hello? You aren't an illusion, are you? Thank the stars. You have to get me out of here. <clears throat> it seems I set off an ancient trap, but I think I've determined how those strange lights channel their energy and how to turn it against them. Once trapped, strange creatures covered in eyes and tentacles descended from above. They reinforced the sconces with foul magic from their largest eyes. Those eyes are key. Extract one and use it to refocus the lights. It should break the binding. I don't know. Daedra, I expect? The horrors of oblivion aren't my specialty. You'll know those floating beasts if you see them. They have many tentacles and seem quite nimble. Like netches, but covered in eyeballs. I'm glad the eyeball was worth it. So good when a theory works in practice, you know? I was certain it was a good theory. All part of the scholarly process, my friend. But never mind that. I should thank you for your timely rescue. I'll head back to our camp. I cannot wait to tell the Ronaldo what happened here. Hold my lock of hair, yet you are not him. Why follow the words of another? Do you bring me a message from him? Is he delayed? Oh no. I hoped we would join together in one last embrace, before triggering our death with my voice. But I whispered his name aloud as I waited. Was that enough to collapse the stones? I should go now.
Ah, good. Everyone back in one place. I was beginning to worry. And not a moment too soon. I managed to subdue one of the tomes. It's proven most enlightening. The Reliquary of Stars was created to preserve knowledge. This we already knew. But the book speaks of a deeper level, closed off from the rest of the ruin. I suspected the heart of an Umeril was hidden somewhere in the ruin, and now I know where. If this description is accurate, the entrance lies somewhere in the Hall of Might. But there's something else. Would you come with me? Thank you. Tedrini has behaved quite erratically since his return. When you went searching for my assistance, did you see anyone else? Anyone intelligent, I mean. Spectres don't count. Damn. That's what I was afraid of. The book mentions her specifically, some sort of caretaker. Her specialty was... well, there's no easy way around it. She controlled the minds of others. It seems even the aliens feared her. Maybe. Tedrini hasn't been the same since he returned. He's normally so enthusiastic about his studies, but he's withdrawn into himself. It's downright unsettling watching him suffer like this. I'd like to run some simple tests for signs of Daedric influence. While I do so, would you bring Behilir with you to search the Hall of Might? I suspect the heart of Enumera lays within its walls. Wonderful. If this tome is correct, there's a passageway hidden in the library. I'm sure you and Behilir will find it. I heard my name. What do you need? Behilir, our friend needs your help in the Hall of Might. The Hall of Might? So you think we found it? Oh, exhilarating! Lead away, my friend. This looks promising. Let's start searching. Must be around here somewhere. of innumeral. I never thought I'd hold it. In my own hands. Well, public hands count as my hands. The power, it's exquisite. 
is it? And I am huge and fat. And now, I really must take this Behalem puppet for a stroll. Let's see how fast it can go. Behelia sounds so strange. Behelia suggested Tadrini was under her control. A ruse, and one I should have seen. But if Ukazi has the heart of an Umaril, she can use it to restore her spirit to her body. We have to get it back. Through the door. We've never been able to open it, and I don't know where it leads. Quickly, after her. I'll attempt to restore the wards here, should you fail. We can't allow a Daedra to wreak havoc with the heart of an Umaril. with one final shift.
you! I hadn't thought you'd make it out alive. Ukazi must have been formidable alone. With the heart of a Numeril in her hands, I can hardly imagine. You do have it, don't you? Wonderful! When all the flying books fell, I knew it had left the ruins. I'll return it to the Elden Root Mages Guild, per our agreement with the King. We won't need to worry about Daedra finding it there. Very well. So they're really going through with it, are they? I'd pay my weight in gold to see the orrery working. I'll personally ensure it reaches there without further trouble, don't you fear? After I return it to the orrery? Perhaps I can research its properties once the ceremony is complete. If the Queen allows, of course. I'm not one to stand in the way of royalty. This is ridiculous! You have done what has not been done in centuries! All the parts of the orrery have been placed within the chamber, and Dereneth awaits us below! I must admit to being more than a little excited. I've never seen the orrery operational. Not much! You've done extraordinary work! And just in time for Queen Irene's arrival. Imagine the chance to see the orrery operate. Conservator Dereneth is preparing Queen Irene as we speak. We should really head in there and get started. The ratification ceremony isn't going to perform itself after all. And from what I understand, Conservator Dereneth wanted to speak with you personally. Thank you. 